<sighs> and we back. Stop with the fake news, please. <sighs> Whoa, what the fuck? Yo, let's fucking go. Holy shit. Oh, no fucking way. What? <laughs> Yo, this is fucking awesome. What? Oh my god. Let's fucking go. Holy shit. Ah. Oh! Chris Bass, it's a New York Mets. Let's fuck. Yes. This is awesome. Yes. It's fucking brilliant. Oh my god. What did we trade? What did we trade? I thought you guys were bullshitting. I literally, I thought you guys were bullshitting me. No fucking way. Oh my God. This is so sick. Yes, this is awesome. Perfect, perfect, perfect. What did we give up? I need to know what we gave up. Gonna change the thumbnail now. Let's fucking go. This is crazy. Hype in the chat. Mets just got Chris Bassett from the Oakland A's. The timing could not have been better. Oh, my God. All right, folks. How are we feeling? How are we feeling, Mets and baseball fans? The trade is official. The New York Mets have acquired, again, Iglesias to the Rockies. Oh, that's perfectly fine. That's perfectly fine. Um, that's not a big deal. I'll take him off the graphic fairly soon. I'm just trying to see how I can get everything right now. If it's going to be too laggy or if it's going to be okay. So just bear with me one second, everybody. It's not liking the fact that I have the highlight reel in here. If, if I take it off, it's not a big deal. Best rotation of baseball. I, this is so hype. This is this is such a fantastic trade, guys. I can't even begin to tell you. This does mean we're out on my on um, Molly. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, this is this is the last big splash pitching wise for the rotation the Mets make more than likely, and that's perfectly okay. I absolutely love this move, guys. Let me know in the chat too. Am I really laggy? Um, if I am, please let me know. Or if I'm decent, let me know too. Um, I'm not sure exactly because I know I have the little Bassett highlights in here for whatever reason. It's taking up far more usage than it should be right now. So, yeah, let me know how the quality is and everything. But, yeah, Chris Bassett is a New York Met. I'm very, very happy about that. This is a fantastic move. I, Man, this is it. Again, they needed a middle of the rotation starter, and they got it, baby. They effing did it. They got a tremendous move here. This is, feels so good. Okay. Tiny lag, but okay. Okay. All right, folks. So what is the trade? Again, the trade is Chris Bassett for JT Ginn and Adam Aller. JT Ginn and Adam Aller were both very, very strong prospects for the Mets pitching-wise. Not top five, but they were still very strong prospects overall for the Mets in their system. I may have to take out the damn Chris Bassett highlights. I apologize if I have to do that. Again, it's probably just because, for whatever reason, it's acting stupid. So if I have to take it out, I will. I think I might just do that. Hold on. Of course, that's to act up when I want to be like in there. Okay, guys, how's quality? Quality okay now? Fantastic. All right, let, let's get it. Chris Bassett's numbers. I was gonna, I, I was gonna look up his numbers, but I forgot I had them on the graphic here. Again, look at the breakdown. The exciting thing about Chris Bassett, guys, is the off-speed stuff. Bassett is has a nasty curveball, nasty off-speed stuff. Love the break on his pitches, and this is a fantastic pickup for the New York Mets. This is the exact type of player that the New York Mets needed to acquire for the middle of the rotation. We all have to be, you got to be excited about this. This is such a tremendous move. Absolutely fantastic. I can't, I can't, this is, this is, uh, this is the best that the Mets could have gone. Truly. When you look at the trade options out there, Bassett was right at the top of the list with all of them. And we've been saying for the longest time, it's going to be the, o the Oakland A's. So the fact that the Mets did this trade and didn't even give up any assets on their roster tells you that there still may be a trade to be had separately somewhere else from the Mets. I don't know exactly how, but I think what this does tell me is that unless the Mets really go out and maybe they're still heavily in on Hater or someone, it feels a lot less likely Jeff McNeil will be traded right now. It's really interesting to garner what exactly the trade market is going to be like for the current Mets because of the fact that they were able to do this trade without giving up any of their current assets. So that's very interesting about it.
Ginn was a valuable asset. Don't get me wrong, he was. But as long as Chris Bassett is re-signed after the season, it'll make up for it. Trust me. And if Bassett has a strong season, it'll make up for it. Bassett, he's 31, 32 years of age, but he does not have much work on his arm at all. He's only been a starter in the league since 2018, not 2019. He's been a reliever prior to that. The A's brought him in as a starter over these past couple years, and he has really th thrived. And coincidentally enough, Bassett went through the same type of situation as Kevin Pillar, but the other way around, Bassett, if you guys don't remember, got hit with that liner right in the face out of like over 100 mile per hour comebacker and was gone for around five weeks and then came back and still finished the season with the A's. He's 33. All right, my mistake. Yeah, again, AJ, I wouldn't worry about much with Bassett as long as, of course, he stays healthy, we'll be fine. I'm not I'm not concerned. This is a fantastic pickup for the Mets. Absolutely fantastic. Mets, top three rotation now. Chris Bass, oh my God. This is such a good move. Such a damn good move. I'll check out Rosenthal in a second, guys. And I know we got a bunch of donations. I'm going to address them really quick, and I'll go further. But again, guys, continue smashing that like and subscribe button if you're joining the stream. The Mets have acquired, yes, Chris Bassett. Feeling damn good about it. I'm sure you guys are too. He is officially a New York Met. Damn, that's awesome. All right, guys, hold on. Trying to see. I know a bunch of you guys donated a while ago. Shoot, I don't want to. Okay, let me check somewhere else. I don't want to miss anyone's donation. We're almost at 700 likes, too. Thank you guys so much for that. Really appreciate that. Hold on, everybody. I'm just trying to I'm just trying to read the donations quick. Okay. Matthew, I think this was the first one. Great pickup. Does this mean no Chapman? Yeah, I would say that this means it's not impossible, but I would be surprised if the Mets landed Chapman just because you'd imagine Chapman would be in a deal with Bassett, right? If he's not going to be in a deal, are the Mets going to do trade with the A's again? Anything's possible, but I don't think it's nearly as likely now because of the Mets landing Bassett. Of course, anything can, anything can change. Anything can, of course, change, but I'm going to assume that they, they're not going to be in the market for him as much now. Eric, thank you so much for the donation. Finally, bet cost for uh, Molly too high. I say get Hater Chafin for bullpen. Sign Bryant, perfect offseason. Baseball trade value, 17 mil coming to Mets versus 11 mil for A's. Steel, Mets still have lots of picks. Yes, they have lots of picks indeed. Just tremendous. I'm so, so happy. This is, I, I, can't, I can't express enough how much I love this deal for the New York Mets. This is, again, the exact type of starter that they needed. So, yes, hype in the chat indeed. Got Chris Bassett, baby. Feeling damn good. Sniper, thank you so much for the do donation. The rotation needs to stay healthy, at least. We have two reliable backups. Absolutely. The, the If the Mets rotation doesn't stay healthy, they don't get anywhere. But this is a massive get for them. Bassett has been consistent. Had a phenomenal year. I, again, just a great get. Great, great get in the middle of the rotation for the New York Mets. Can't really can't say much more than that. I'm just so I'm smiling ear to ear at this. I really am. Edwin, thank you so much for the donation. It's moment like these. I love this channel. Oh, thank you so much, Edwin. Love you too, my friend. I'm glad that we all found this out together too while we were live. I checked check Hector Gomez. That's I will. What am I missing? This trade sucks. I don't know. I don't know how you view this as 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 if the trade sucks. So I don't know what you're missing. That's a great point. I really don't. Um, because this trade does in fact not suck. And I I'm very I'm very adamant saying that. Very, very adamant. Hold on, folks. Iglesias to Colorado. That's okay. It's a bench piece. That 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 doesn't that doesn't do any that doesn't do anything for me. Like I'm not losing sleep over that at all. Hold on, folks. How's it going, everybody? Yes. Uh, yeah, we're not going to get, we're not, there's no way. I don't see the Mets landing any more starters uh, of significance like this. This was the one trade I expected them to do. They did it. That's fantastic. I'm very excited. Okay. Ginn is coming off Tommy John. I think you're thinking of Matt Allen because Ginn pitched last year. 
We aren't done making moves. No, we're, we're definitely not done making moves for us, for us Mets fans. Absolutely. Yeah, no, this is, this is just such a, this is such a damn, this is such a damn good trade. Oh my God. I, oh, so good. I mean, just look, just look guys, just look. I mean, Bassett, let do you guys, do you want to go through his numbers a little bit further? You want me to go through baseball savant, go through his pitches. If you guys want to do that, we definitely will. But again, tremendous get for the people just chiming in again, Chris Bassett. Yes, he only has one year though. So you just got to make sure you re-sign him. That's all that matters. And it's not like the Mets can't re-sign him. I'm going to go back and eat dinner. So another trade happens. Yeah, I know. It was literally hilarious. How as soon as I came back in this seat, it happened guys. And I, I didn't, the fact, I just love it because I thought you guys were bluffing. I really thought. 